the game. Hey, what? 
Watch it! Hey! 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 Watch it! not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. He showed up at the door again. I, I don't know what to do. There's something about us and there's... just felt wrong. <laughs>
Hello, this is Wolf. I was using one of the silver tech computers around the place, and would you look at what I found? Online, they have a bunch of sheet music everywhere. So I could just take one, print it off, and play it on my piano. <laughs> it's lovely. I found this one song I want to try. It's called Hot Hot Hot
Romeo, Lima, Romeo, X-ray, Romeo, Bravo, Charlie, 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 Romeo, Romeo, standby, Lima, X-ray, Bravo, Charlie, Bravo, Romeo, standby.
was a recognizable cartoon character in the late 60s, and his popularity only continued to skyrocket up until the 1990s. Somewhere in the 1980s, however, Bucky would go on to outlive his own creator, as Rex unfortunately had passed away due to and as more characters joined the roster, like the bubbly Olive Otter, to the cowardly Walter Walrath, and the snappy Giovanni Goose, Bucky, and the Broadside Animation Company as a whole, only became a bigger household name. Studio Brown's <laughs> was a that was made in the As a kid, he always enjoyed the There was a merry-go-round at a local fair he would ride many times over the day. The idea of a studio brand's original name was in a park known as Wild This was the predecessor to Studio Brand, and while it brought in great success and happy memories to many children and adults around the world, the travel from an island through the cruise ship was enough to turn over many potential visitors. He always strived to create. It was always his dream to become an artist. But up until the 1940s, his cartoon.
Really? 